Well, chances are you've heard of E. coli or salmonella, but how about Chronobacter? It is the name of the illness linked to the recent powdered baby formula recall of popular brands like Similac. And the Chronobacter outbreak is rare, but it can make babies really sick. Consumer investigator Kristen Byrne shares some steps you can take to keep the bacteria at bay. These bacteria, um, they're found in many different environments. Assistant Professor Troy Score at UW-Milwaukee teaches about Chronobacter in his medical microbiology course. They found it in over 100 different foods. It's in the soil, um, and it's, it's, your thing about it is you find it also in processed cheese, meats, herbs, spices. Even before Abbott announced Chronobacter was linked to its powdered formula recall, SCORE covered the bacteria in his class and how it can contaminate this kind of baby food. They've shown that um, bacteria can actually survive inside a powdered milk for years. He says anyone immunocompromised can get really sick from Chronobacter. Infants fall into that category since their immune system hasn't fully matured. So he says practicing proper hygiene is a must especially for newborns. If we get sloppy, let's just say, and we don't clean our hands beforehand, and then we make your infant's formula, those bacteria could get into the milk. To best protect your baby, the CDC says toss out expired formula. Make sure your container doesn't have dents or opened seals, and sanitize and sterilize all parts of the bottle. You can always consider feeding your baby liquid formula, but it can be more expensive than powdered. So if you want to stick with powder, the CDC suggests boiling water, then adding it to the formula and shaking to mix. Just make sure you let it sit to cool down to room temperature so it's safe for your baby. Chronobacter does not survive pasteurization. So that's why if you boil the water, then you'd pour it into the formula. If Chronobacter did exist there, it would die. To be clear, don't try this method if your formula is part of the recent recall. You need to stop using that recalled formula. SCORE stresses parents shouldn't panic over this bacteria. While an infection can be serious, an outbreak is rare. The number of cases typically in babies is one out of 100,000, so I mean, it's, it's pretty rare. As evident by the latest recall, it can happen, serving as a reminder of how important it is to safely prepare a bottle of powdered formula. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne. Important information, Kristen, thank you.